Well, good morning. Welcome back to GP Outdoors. And we're back here in central Ontario. We're just kind of on the tail end of a big rainstorm that we had all night. Still falling a little bit, but we're expecting some sunshine to break in the next couple hours. Over the last several months, a lot of folks have expressed an interest in the portable mill that Guy has down the road and wanted to see it in action again. So fortunately, Guy still has four big timbers that we've left since last fall that he has to get milled. So he's gonna set up the mill this morning, get it all prepped, and we're gonna mill some boards. So let's head on over to Guy's place and fire up that mill. Four quarters, really. I'm just watching this guy go below and come back up. Talk to carriage.
Well, thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I wanted to finish off the video today just with a couple of words to especially new tractor owners like myself. Whether you've got a, a subcompact or a compact or utility tractor, you're going to find yourself at some points where you really want to test the extremities or the capacities of your tractor. And I would just offer to you after a year and a half to two years experience now, I've done a few things in the forest with this tractor trying to see just how much it will lift or how much it'll do. And I'm glad that I did it to a certain extent, but you have to be very careful because when you start to stress the outer limits of your tractor, usually that means you're kind of infringing on a little bit of safety. We had three ash and one oak, and one of the ash was huge, and you'll probably see in the video, I was only able to lift that ash about a foot and a half off the ground, and that's as far as this little B-series would go. You'll notice that shortly after lifting it, once I realized that the tractor was not going to lift it any higher, I knew that I'd kind of stretched the limits of this tractor. And that's why I dropped the log back on the ground and we grabbed the L-series and the tongs and we got it up on the mill the old-fashioned way. If we didn't have the L-series, we would have cut that piece of wood in half and that would have made it a lot safer to lift with the B. Always try to operate the tractor in the safest manner possible because I'll tell you, it does a lot. It's got a lot of power but it can also go a little bit south on you when you least expect it. So it's very important, especially when you're driving over rough terrain or uneven terrain. Hope it's been helpful. Thanks a lot for sticking around today. If you like the channel, please click subscribe, hit the like button, and if you want to know I'm posting more videos, just click the little bell. Have a wonderful week with your families, and I'll see you again on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.